Selling on Walmart is a great way to expand your online presence and increase your sales. So in this video, I'll show you how to successfully apply and how to sell on Walmart and list your products. I'll also explain the costs of selling on Walmart and how Walmart SEO works. So first off, why sell on Walmart? Well, it has a large built-in customer base. With over 500 million monthly users, Walmart has a huge customer base that you can tap into by listing your products. There's high visibility. Because Walmart is a household name, you can increase the visibility and reach of your products. You get access to Walmart's fulfillment services. Walmart offers a fulfillment service similar to Amazon FBA, so you don't have to touch inventory. Now, unlike other marketplaces like Etsy or eBay, Walmart does not charge a listing fee, making it a cost-effective option for selling online. Even if you're already selling on Amazon, expanding to channels like Walmart helps to diversify your risk and reduce your dependence on a single platform. If Amazon shuts down your account or listings overnight, you won't lose all of your revenue. Although Walmart only has a 6.5% market share compared to Amazon's 39.8%, Walmart is still the second largest e-commerce marketplace in the US. And Walmart is growing by 100% year over year with a 79% e-commerce sales jump in the third quarter of 2022 alone. In addition, Walmart only has 150,000 sellers compared to Amazon's 6.3 million sellers, which makes it far less competitive as a seller. Walmart has an 800 to 1 ratio of customers to sellers compared to 124 to 1 on Amazon. Now, what are the requirements to sell on Walmart? You need at least 12 months of sales to be approved for a seller account on Walmart. As a result, Walmart is best suited for established brands with a solid sales history. In addition to strong revenue, you also need to have a minimum of 10 SKUs. Although it's not an official requirement, having more SKUs allows you to test different pricing strategies to understand which products perform better on the Walmart marketplace. Walmart used to only allow US-based sellers on their marketplace before 2021. But today, sellers from Canada, China, India, Japan, Mexico, and the UK are allowed to apply. So overall, Walmart is an excellent marketplace for established brands looking to expand their sales channels reach a new audience, and grow their businesses. By the way, if you're enjoying this tutorial, make sure you sign up for my free six-day meeting course below. So which products sell well on Walmart? Generic products that appeal to a wide audience in categories such as fitness, home, and pets sell extremely well on Walmart compared to niche products. Price is a leading consideration for Walmart shoppers who prefer more affordable products. So as a result, premium, niche, and higher price products do not sell as well on walmart.com. Walmart also restricts personalized products featuring artwork, images, or text, although they occasionally allow custom items on a case-by-case -case basis. To find profitable products to sell, you can use product research tools like Helium 10 and Jungle Scout. These tools provide data points such as average price, ratings, reviews, listing quality scores, and Walmart sales. So how does Walmart work exactly? The Walmart Marketplace places your products in front of millions of online shoppers on walmart.com. You can manage your listings and track sales through the Walmart Seller Portal. If you wish to outsource order fulfillment, Walmart Fulfillment Services will store and ship your products to the end customer and handle customer service. Here's a high-level overview of how Walmart works. One, you apply to sell on the Walmart Marketplace. Then after you're approved, you register for a Walmart Seller account. Then, you need to complete the necessary product research and list your products, and then once a customer places an order, Walmart ships it for you if you use their fulfillment service or you ship your product yourself. Here's how to start selling on Walmart step by step. Step 1. Apply to sell on Walmart Marketplace. Their application process is simple but strict. Recently, Walmart opened its marketplace to international sellers. Here's a list of items that you need to provide in order to join. One, you need a business tax ID or business license number. You must have a valid local license if your business is registered outside the US. You also need supporting documents to verify your business name and address. You also need to show a history of success in selling on any other marketplace, whether that be your website or other channels. If your business is registered outside the US, you must provide a history of selling in American stores or marketplaces. You also need to know your primary product categories, a list of existing marketplaces you sell on, and direct links to your stores. You also need to provide a detailed and clear explanation of why you are a good fit for Walmart. So make sure you provide as much information as possible up front. Walmart cares about their customer's experience, 
so they usually prefer sellers with plenty of experience selling online. Now, once you've applied to become a Walmart seller, they can take anywhere between one business day to four weeks to approve or reject your application. Step two, set up your Walmart seller account. So once you get approved, you will receive an email link to register for your account. There are five steps in the registration process. Account creation, company registration, tax forms, payment info, and shipping info. So first, you gotta click on the registration link and create an account. Then you need to review and accept the Walmart retailer agreement. To register your company, you need to add your display name. This is the name that's gonna appear on walmart.com. You also need to add your address. This is your company address. And then you also need to fill out all the relevant tax forms. If you are based in the US, you'll need to submit a W-9 form. Now Walmart has partnered with Payoneer and HyperWallet in addition to PayPal to process payments on their marketplace. So make sure you're registered with at least one of those payment processors. Step three, decide on a fulfillment method. There are three ways to fulfill orders on Walmart. WFS, which is Walmart Fulfillment Services, Deliver or Seller Fulfilled. So WFS is similar to Amazon FBA, where Walmart takes care of storing, packing, and shipping your orders. They've been investing heavily in their fulfillment infrastructure and offers cheaper shipping rates than Amazon through their partnership with FedEx. Now, Walmart is constantly adding new warehouses. As a result, WFS shipping times have improved and are close to being on par with Amazon. The only products that may require longer shipping are oversized and hazardous goods. Like Amazon, Walmart provides optional item labeling services through their prep services program. Now, WFS does not ship car batteries, charcoal, cleaners, car fluids, temperature controlled items, and tires. Now, if you aren't happy with WFS, you can use Deliver, a third-party logistics company or 3PL. Deliver has 80 plus warehouses across the US and they offer two-day delivery. Now, if you choose the seller fulfilled option, you will be responsible for everything, including storage, packing, shipment, returns, and customer service. Step four, list your products. You can add products on Walmart in two ways, individually or in bulk. To add a single item on Walmart, go to Seller Center and just click Add New Items under Items and Inventory. Add the item identifier, such as GTIN, ISBN, or UPC. And if the result matches your item, click Yes, This Is It. If the identifier doesn't match, then you gotta click Not My Item. Then you need to fill in your SKU, description, brand, product name, category, and other attributes. Note, you will need to have a GS1 barcode in order to create a Walmart listing. You can add products in bulk by uploading the full item spec sheet. Step five, advertise your products. You can run paid ads on Walmart through Walmart Connect. And Walmart Connect offers two types of sponsored search advertising options. Sponsored product ads. These ads appear in high visibility places such as relevant search results on item pages. You can also run sponsored brand ads. This premium ad is available only to Walmart brand owners registered within Walmart brand portal. Now, how much does it cost to sell on Walmart? On average, selling on Walmart will cost you between eight and 15% of your product price in commission fees and an additional eight to 15% of your total revenue in Walmart fulfillment fees, depending on your product size and weight. If you fulfill products yourself, Walmart charges a referral fee of between eight to 15% per product but they don't charge setup, listing, or monthly fees. Walmart fulfillment service fees are similar in cost to Amazon FBA seller fees. The main difference is that WFS fees are more expensive for heavyweight items, and Amazon charges additional storage fees for the last quarter of the calendar year. So how much money can you make on Walmart? If you are already selling on Amazon, you can expect to make an additional four to 12% of your revenue on Walmart for a well-established brand, depending on the category. You should also take into account that selling fees can be lower on Walmart compared to Amazon, which means that you get to keep more of the profit. Right now, the competition is just not that fierce on Walmart compared to Amazon. If you have items declining on other platforms because of high competition, then try them on Walmart and they will likely sell well. So is selling on Walmart worth it? It is 100% worth it if you're already selling on Amazon and you wanna diversify to other marketplaces. Amazon is increasing their FBA fees faster than Walmart, which means lower profit margins for sellers. The average Walmart seller receives 27,000 monthly visitors, while Amazon sellers receive only 2,100 monthly visitors. If your products aren't competitive on Amazon and aren't selling well, try them on Walmart for better results. If you're a big brand looking to connect with buyers in Walmart retail, 
join the Walmart Marketplace at least a year in advance to form an online relationship with your buyers. If your products sell well on Walmart.com, Walmart may choose to carry your products in their brick and mortar stores. Overall, if you want long-term growth and control over your brand, joining Walmart as a seller is a great opportunity because there's very little competition. So here are just some tips for selling on Walmart. Whether you're selling on Walmart, Amazon, or any marketplace, you can't expect to have success by just listing your products and hoping that buyers will find you. So here are five tips to help you on your success. Number one, you have to optimize your listings. And this is crucial in order to rank in Walmart search. Here are just some tips. Avoid adding too many keywords, as Walmart's algorithm doesn't like keyword stuffing. This is completely different than Amazon, by the way. You wanna use relevant keywords like brand, model, and color in the title, and Walmart recommends the following title formula for apparel. Brand and style name, descriptive feature, material, size, and pack count. Keep the title short, within 50 to 75 characters. Add three to 10 key features and a minimum of 150 words and paragraphs in the description. Avoid using generic phrases, add relevant attributes, and focus on your photography. Upload four professionally shot high-res images, explain the benefits in one of the images, and then add an image that shows a family of products across your brand. Tip number two, use the listing quality dashboard. Walmart's listing quality dashboard is actually a free tool that helps you analyze your listings and improve your performance. In the dashboard, you'll see the average listing quality score, an overall breakdown of the listing quality, and an overview of each item in your catalog. You can click on an item to expand it and check the details such as content and discoverability. Content is the product data that includes info like name, description, key features, and images. The tool will also tell you your discoverability, which is how easily your product is recommended in the search results. They'll also tell you about ratings and reviews, which show how Walmart customers like your product. And they also give you a metric for your offer based on price, shipping speed, and stock. Your listing will be higher if the product has competitive pricing, fast shipping, and is always in stock. Anyway, Walmart will highlight any issues and offer tips on how you can improve your score. Tip number three, do not copy your Amazon listing content to Walmart. Most sellers wrongly assume that Amazon SEO is the same as Walmart. For example, long tail titles work well on Amazon, but not on Walmart. Walmart focuses more on content quality and the overall listing score. On the other hand, Amazon emphasizes SEO and keyword research. The process of optimizing your Walmart listings is similar to optimizing for Google search. Add only relevant content and avoid keyword stuffing. The average listing quality score is 60% on Walmart, so a score of 80 or above can help you rank higher in the Walmart search results. Tip number four, go for the pro seller badge. Top performing Walmart sellers receive a pro seller badge. This badge instantly makes you stand out from other listings, increases customers' confidence, and boosts conversions. Here are the criteria for getting this badge. Order cancellations of 2% or less in the last 90 days. Orders delivered on time for 90% or more of orders. 70% of your trending catalog has a listing quality score of 60 and above. You shipped more than 100 orders in the last 90 days, and you should be active for at least 90 days. Tip number five, use Walmart fulfillment. One of the top product ranking factors is the speed of delivery. And Walmart fulfillment offers low cost, two day shipping across the US. In addition, WFS items are displayed with fulfilled by Walmart and two-day delivery tags. As per Walmart, having these two tags results in higher search rankings, increases buy box wins, and leads to an average 50% increase in sales. WFS also enhances the post-purchase buyer experience by managing all your returns and customer inquiries. Walmart also allows customers to return items purchased online to physical Walmart stores. More than 29% of customers appreciate the ability to return goods at their local Walmart instead of online. So put simply, you should use WFS because it improves product visibility and lets you focus on your sales. So here are the pros of selling on Walmart. There's high product visibility. There's less competition than Amazon. There's no monthly fees. They have a great network and a simple cost structure. But here are the downsides of selling on Walmart. It is not for niche or expensive products. You also can't sell custom products. There's a strict application process with no guarantees of you getting in, and there's competitive pricing. Most people on Walmart tend to be on the cheaper side. There's also poor customer service. Unlike Amazon, Walmart support is less responsive and helpful. So the million dollar question is, should you sell on Walmart? Well, it's an excellent platform that you can use to reach a large customer base. 
If you're an Amazon seller with a successful history of hundreds of thousands of dollars in annual sales, then Walmart provides an opportunity to expand your business. The one significant downside is that Walmart forces sellers to list products at competitive pricing. If another seller lists the same product as yours at a significantly lower price, your product may be removed from the marketplace. Otherwise, Walmart is the next best place to list your products after Amazon. Now that you understand how to sell on Walmart, watch this video here to figure out the best products to sell online.